For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God is so wonderful that the Bible says he's not willing that any should perish. God does not want to send you into hell. The love of God is that he sends Christians out to preach the word. In the words of Jesus Christ to us, go in all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. A true Bible believing, saved, born again Christian is not out to preach money. We're not here for church. We're not here to baptize you. We're here that you may know that Jesus saves and that you put your faith and trust in Jesus. Not your wallet. Not in church attendance, not in a baptism certificate, not in a membership, but in the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for the sins of man. Your afterlife, and the Bible says that there is an afterlife, it is heaven by Jesus Christ. And it is hell by rejecting Jesus. A person goes into the gates of hell and will never come out. Because they have rejected the gift of God. And the gift of God's eternal life. Through Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. I don't care if you're a Baptist. I don't care if you're a Catholic. I don't care if you're a Muslim. I don't care if you're a Jehovah Witness. I don't care if you're an atheist. Those are just titles given to men. And that there is one name above all names. There is no other name given amongst men. Whereby you must be saved. And that name is not the name of Catholic Universal Church. That's not the name of the Baptist. There's a name of the Son of God who is God. And that name is the name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah saves And you're not going to get into the gates of glory. Except you repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Jesus came to save the white man, the black man, the brown man, the yellow man. All lives are sinners, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You can be never good enough when the Bible says there's none that doeth good. The means, the merit, and the method to get to heaven. Authorized by God. From the King James Bible. Is that you put your faith and trust alone. In Jesus Christ. It is nothing you can do. It is nowhere you can go. 
It is all upon the work and the merit of Jesus Christ alone. No one gets to heaven without the blood of Jesus Christ. Without the blood of Jesus, you go into hell because you have chosen to reject Jesus Christ as your Savior. You have chosen to reject the words from the Bible uh, to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You have chosen to reject what Jesus himself said, and this is Jesus speaking about himself. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Them are the words of Jesus. Muhammad can't get you into heaven. Mary can't get you into heaven. Your priest can't get you to heaven. Your pastor can't get you into heaven. Only by the blood and your faith in Jesus Christ. Call upon Jesus Christ to be saved. Jesus Christ is God's finished work of going to a place called heaven. <clears throat> Tis so simple to believe that Jesus Christ alone saves. And nothing and no one and anything else is acceptable to God. The saving grace of God is in the finished work of Jesus Christ. And only by Jesus Christ can you get to a place called heaven. And without Jesus Christ, you will not get to heaven. And you will get into a place called hell. Because you chosen not to be saved, not to trust in the finished work of Jesus Christ. When the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. When Jesus himself said, go and preach the gospel, church is what you are in once you get saved. Church is not ever for salvation. Baptism is for after you are saved. It is never for salvation. The Catholic Church is anti-scriptural. The Catholic Church denies everything that God has said in his holy word. Where the Bible says, call no man your father. And yet you dress the bail men as fathers. When you come to the saving grace at Calvary, the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world to be saved. And only through Jesus Christ are you able to be saved. And by no other. You don't get into heaven by the name of Buddha. You don't get into heaven by the name of Mary. 
You get into heaven by the name and the finished work of Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. Religion is man-made. Jesus Christ is God-approved. Before the worlds were ever to be, before the foundation of the world, the salvation set forth by God is in God. And that God is Jesus Christ. And there is no other than Jesus Christ who suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is the way of life. That is the, the truth. And Jesus Christ is the way to have access to the Father. There is no Father without Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Anything else, anyone else, any else, outside of Jesus Christ and your destination when you die will be hell. There is no purgatory. That's a lie and a once upon a time story made up by religion. Religion has a lot of made up stories and yet the Bible is true. And the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Acts 16.31. Jesus said ye must be born again and that new birth is the spiritual birth through the Holy Spirit, by the finished work of Jesus Christ. It is so simple. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone. There is no other afterlife than the faith and trust in Jesus to get to heaven and the rejection of Jesus Christ to go to hell.